Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs. So the first thing you want to do is come over here to docs.google.com. And if you don't have a Google account, the first thing you want to do is sign up for a Google account and register. And once you're in Google Docs, uh, this is what the interface is going to look like. It's very, very similar to Microsoft Word. So if you're familiar with Microsoft Word, uh, this will be pretty straightforward to use Google Docs. So I'm going to go over a couple of things, just how to use Google Docs, the, the dashboard or the main interface. I'm going to show you how to print, how to bold, how to underline, how to italic, um, how to delete, how to move stuff over, and how to print, and how to undo. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is, over here in the top left, what you can do is create a document name for example let's say this is an exam or exam test or exam prep we'll just call it exam prep and then you can just press enter or click off and as you can see Google already saves it automatically for you and that's a great thing about Google Drive or Google Docs it, you, you get a certain amount of cloud storage on your personal account if you pay for a plan then I think you could get up to X amount of gigs. Maybe in my plan, I have um, one terabyte of cloud storage. So I have a business account. And, you know, that's the beauty of it. Everything is going to be saved in your Google account. So as long as you name it, you could always search for it later. So, for example, I can come over here to Google Docs. Let me just go to here. Google Docs. If I go to Google Docs. Now what you can see is right here, you can see I already created a file called exam prep. So everything is there and if you wanted to search for that document or any document, just start typing something. And as you can see, it is here, exam prep. And there you go. So let's get back into this here. So after you created your title, now what you can do is start typing. The first thing you probably want is a title. And if you wanted to center this title, you could come over here and it'll be center align. Now, as you can see that the cursor went over here and you could say exam prep, February 29th, 2020. Now, what most people like to do after this is just highlight it. So now you can use your left click. Let me just open up this virtual keyboard for you in case I do any shortcuts. All right, here's our keyboard. Now what you can do, let's say you are on this line and you had a lot of text or let's say you want to select all of the text that's on this paper. What you could do is command A. So it's command. If you see my keyboard here, command A. That is going to highlight everything. So let's say that nothing was highlighted here, had a bunch of text. Now you could click anywhere on the blank paper and press command and then A. And as you can see, that selects everything on the Mac. Now after that, most people, what they like to do is they like to highlight, bold and underline your title. So a couple of ways you can do this by three shortcuts is you can just scroll, drag, or you can do the control A. Or if you want to do a bold, you can do command and B. And as you can see it bolded right here. Now while it's highlighted it, if you wanted to underline it, you can do Command U. Command U underlines it. Now if you wanted to italic it, just do Command I. And if you wanted to do undo, just do the Control Z, Control Z, and Control Z. And that's it. Now if you weren't using all your command lines, your Command C, Command U, and con Command B, you can easily just highlight it and at the top here, if you see these three symbols, it's bold, italic, and underline. Now let's change the font on this. To change the font, we can come over here. Sorry, that's the font color. If you want to change the font itself, we could come over to here, which is here. And now if you wanted to change the text size, you could come over here. You could either highlight the whole block and enter your own specific character size. So I selected 26. 
and that's it for that. Now, let's say we wanted to get back to the left position. You can just click over here and that'll left align or you can right align. And now let's say we wanted to enter a link. So here, let's say we were writing and we said something such as if you see now I have everything highlighted in red. If you wanted to undo this, you can just start over here. Come over to A and select this and go back to your standard font 8 or let's say it was 10. And if you wanted to create a link, if you're writing a story, you can say something like this. If you want to see more, please visit here, which is my website link. And you can say, click here. Now you can highlight this and you can insert text or click this or alternatively you can right click and click on link. So it's showing you that the text is going to be click here and the link you're going to say www.example.com and then you can click apply and as you can see it's highlighted. So that's how you apply a link. Now let's apply or insert an image. To insert an image you can click on here and you can upload from your computer or search from the web or you can specify by URL, open your camera or open up your drive, your Google Drive. But this is pretty self-explanatory, very easy. And the next thing we're going to go over is how to print. And like I mentioned, all, all changes save pretty fast. You'll actually see something automatically and you can set these options and you can see them right here. You can see the revisions and if it's been saved and it has. So today at 7.48 it was saved and we are right now 7.49 which is a minute ago which is great. So the next thing we're going to go over is how to print. Now a couple of ways you can do this it's just command P and when you command P as long it that'll bring up your print function. So now all you have to do is set the destination of where to print or how many pages and the copies. If you want to save this Word document or Google document as a PDF, in Mac all you have to do is save as PDF. And this is going to save it as a PDF. Very, very handy. And you can print later on. So the next thing we are going to do, and the last thing that we are going to do is the view. So if you don't like this view, a couple of op options you can do is you can view in certain modes. So you can either say in full screen mode, editing mode, suggestion mode. So let's go to editing. So the last thing we're going to do is look at your modes. Now if you don't like this mode, what you can do is there's a lot of people who do like to use full screen mode. So all you have to do is come over to view and just go over here to full screen mode. And that is it. So in order to get out of full screen mode, you can press escape to show the controls. So a lot of people like to edit in full screen and gives them more view of their monitor and what they're typing. So to get out of there, just press ESC at the top left of your keyboard, escape, and it brings back your toolbar in Google Docs. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.